It's our last morning. It's our last morning here. We're off to Tricomoli, back to the beach. Just writing a little message on the Hinder's wall. He has guests that have been here. Right, I'll leave a message and there's a couple over there. So last morning here at Relax Nature Villa. We've loved it, haven't we, Yeah, this place has been really cool. It's a great location. The building is hand built and hand built and just really well done. And the hosts are amazing, awesome. aren't they? It's beautiful. Mahindra and his family are awesome. Mahindra's been great with us, he's helped us out a lot and he took us to show us the lake yesterday. Him and his wife have cooked some incredible meals, have had incredible dinners, lunches, breakfasts, just finishing off our last breakfast now. Yeah, it was a nice little find. Mm. I'm excited to get back to the beach. We've heard so many good things, so we really got high expectations. Well, it's recommended this by our several Sri Lankan several people, people that we've but in yeah. England it was the um our local um petrol station the guy that works at the petrol station at home but it's a nice looking hotel I don't know where the camera's looking but it's definitely there's you over there this is you this, is <laughs> this man uh, um. so yeah next time we see you we should hopefully be on a beautiful beach we're driving in the midday sign again. Rupert's fault. Didn't get up this morning. You all know that's not true. I'm an early riser, full of beans in the morning, mate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs>
We went for a little walk down the beach. Unfortunately, not quite what we were expecting. And we think it's probably because of COVID. I was speaking to the hotel owner, he said it's seasonal. He said it's in quiet season. It's the uh, end of April is when it starts getting busy. We didn't know that. That's well. Yeah, because so many people told us to come here and the beach is so beautiful, I can see why. Um, when we first got we thought it was COVID related but every single restaurant and bar along the beach is closed. Every single one. Which is really disappointing. Um, but at the same time we feel sad because we thought everyone's lost their jobs and their businesses. Um, but we were really hoping to be somewhere we can be for like three, four days, maybe longer, chill on the beach. Yeah. All these are nice holiday vibes that we would really like right now. Um, but unfortunately not. We were planning on leaving today, but it's not fair to not come see the sites when we've driven all this way. And my friend Yaz said, look at a couple of places. So yeah, Rupert's got we're a friend good. at home that recommended some places. And it is beautiful here. It is really beautiful here. We just wanted to be somewhere that we can really like holiday because we've been very touristy the last month and now we're staying here an extra month we've got a bit of time to actually chill so that's what we were hoping for it's beautiful but i think we're going to start heading down the coast down the east coast um, and then work our way back around the south coast so we're going to go to where we're we going to go to tomorrow our Aragon Bay. Aragon. Yeah. Aragon Bay. We're gonna go to them tomorrow. We've seen on the Tutu group that we're in that a couple of people have been there. It's very quiet, but there's a couple of nice restaurants and it's a nice visit. So we're gonna go down there for a night or two. It's gonna be quite a drive, so it might be two nights. Um, and then we're gonna drive down to like Tangal, Bentoda, which we didn't have a chance to see before we came up because we thought we were limited to a month. But we're not, so we're gonna go down the east coast and back round up the south. Ah. And it opens up into this. <laughs> Look at this. Bahamas duty. So the guys have taken us, looks like a bunker. Somewhere near. Absolutely beautiful, yeah, we're at the um, Temple Port. Frederick. Port Frederick. Look at that, so you can see the temple over there. Beautiful. <laughs> that does not seem bothered by us at all.
take their eyes off us. Okay, just come up, found a little viewpoint. Got this cool yeah. little rock seat in this tree. That's a pretty view. Quite tranquil. And it's pretty cool they've got their radar here. <laughs> we seem to be walking around some army barracks because the sad enough says Fort Frederick is here. But uh no signs in English anywhere. We can't find it. We thought we found it and we parked up when to get out and then we were told we couldn't. So now we don't know where we can go or not though because it's just not yeah. clear. We're not sure where we can go. Everything looks really old but this is clearly a area that's still used. Let's not pee off the deer with the antlers. It's not a fast bus at all. Tsunami. I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to walk in anywhere. No. It's an army barracks. What does it look like on the pictures? And this is outside a hotel, so they've cleaned up. So you can see right next to it, that's the time where that guy's sitting. Absolutely coupling crap. Yeah, there's loads like, more like, hotels and that along here. There's not any tourists, but it's going to be a bit more comfortable having a hotel. <laughs> It's a dream. <laughs> ah, ah. 
So I think we have to move because they're going to drag that net into the middle. So they're probably thinking, how long before we realise? Upper Belly Beach. We've sat outside at this hotel and we've probably seen a park. Yeah, they're definitely coming over this way, though. Fishermen, local fishermen bringing in the bringing in one of their nets, and obviously they don't get paid unless they catch a good catch. And there must be what twenty fish in there, so and half of them are uh, tiny. The net he said goes out three kilometres. Like, it's kilometers a huge so. net. And uh, yeah, they invited we, us over to have a look. They invited us over to have a look. We didn't take the camera because we thought it was a bit like rubbing salt in the wounds. If you know what I mean. Um, they did have two nets, maybe there's more out there, so like, I don't know. I can't see any more. Maybe the first net is a bit more successful, but it's that's fun. a lot of work, a lot of effort, and a lot of people there who are not going to get paid anything. There's not enough fish to feed the fishermen. We are up to the Belly Beach.
to film, but this is a um, Sri Lankan version of a bolognese with um, chicken. No one seems to have beef at the moment. This bit's obviously devouring in here. And then I mix fruit food. And then off down to the beach. For a swim. We made it to the beach. And we just forget the other nations coming. And you stand up and take the suffering of the people because it's people, they can die. So many things is happening. So now it's the intelligence to stop oh, this. Oh, it's just really beach is beautiful. 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 Now Russia, what do you say? A little white old me can't handle it. Russia is always having trouble. Because it's, uh, it is border. Because it's border. Yeah, okay, it's on the border. But we're not attacking That's what they say. Exactly. And he said also, I don't attack Ukraine. Oh, hello. Oh, I'm in charge. So tonight we were going to have dinner with the lovely couple that own Tobiko Hotel in Chicomany. Um, lucky for them that they have had a load of last minute bookings, so they've got five new, book new people arrived today and the wife's mum is here. Um, we do feel bad though because they wanted to have dinner with us and cook for us and now they couldn't, they ordered us some kotu which we have never had. But they've ordered us food and won't let us pay for it, so we feel bad. We feel really bad. Yeah, they're amazing. They're friendly. They're originally going to cook us like a hundred meal. We was all going to sit down together and eat for free. And it's like it's a free. And now... They don't want to treat us too. Yeah, they, wanted, they said, look, we'll sort your dinner out. They offered to pay. They're like, no, 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 a treat for you. And we're like, we're paying. Really? Like, how much are we paying for this? Yeah. Thing? $18. So $18 a night and two nights. I've just paid for dinner, which is all right. Yeah. It's just so friendly. Um, we've I'm never doing. had kotu before. I'm not sure what it is. It's like a mixture of chicken, veg, people put in love, noodley bits, like vegetables. Mm. But it's really good. Really tasty. Um, but yeah. We have been incredibly lucky with this day and we are really glad that we stayed an extra night. Yeah. Lovely people, lovely hotel, definitely worth a visit. And lots of food to get us through our five, six hour drive down to Aragon Bay tomorrow. Oh, what's up?